Hello everyone. Welcome to Piccadilly Stampin'. Hello. I'm Pamela Pick. And I'm Bill. Izzy's here too. <laughs> so we're getting ready to do a demonstration for you guys, but let's just see if we can uh, get some folks in here first. Oh, how's everyone doing? Um, I'm doing okay. Good. It rained a little bit here. Hi, Jamie. Are you seeing people? Yep. Janet. Okay. <sighs> Hi, Janet. Kristen Lafredo Winslow, hello. Hi, Kristen. Did you invite Bart? Yep. Bar Okay. Karen Jones, hello. Okay, Madison, She's hi. Brina, thank you for sharing. Uh, hi, Jamie. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Angie. Sue Thomas, hello. Hi, Karen. Hi, Laura. Woohoo! Hi, Sue. Great. So, as people are coming in, mm -hmm. I'm going to get going because we've got quite a few things. And I just wanted to, this was the card that I posted on my blog yesterday. And it's so hard to tell the color and stuff. I'm hoping, do I have all the lights on and everything? Yeah. It's hard to tell, so I wanted to kind of give, because it's hard to photograph. But I would have never put these colors together. This came out straight from the color coach. It's Rococo Rose, Petal Pink, and then Crumb Cake. So thank you, Sue and Laura, for sharing. I appreciate that. So I just wanted to show that to you up close. How's everyone doing? I'm doing great. Are they, awesome. Are they saying much? Yeah. Okay. Saying they uh, spread the wealth. Woohoo! Thank you so much for um, spreading the word. Yes. We didn't have as many shares last week. We are going to be doing drawings um, this week at the end here. So, but we just didn't have as many shares. So. We'll see who gets it. Okay, yeah. I have a couple of house cleaning things that I just want to do very quickly. I know I've talked about them before, but I've had a few questions from folks, so I just wanted to let you know. Yes, we have the Stamparatus bag still for sale. Um, it is, if you if you look through the store, you should be able to find it. It is a $29 value and it holds everything perfectly. I love it. It keeps it safe. Has a great bag. It's heavy quality. It's very nice. So wanted Hi, to let you know that. Hi, Aunt Barb. And then um, the embossing plate. I, I talked about it before it was released, but we do have the, the embossing plate. This is for our new 3D embossing folders. So Stampin' Up! has, let me grab this really quick. You know, our regular embossing folders that you use the two plates with. And then they have these new 3D. Let me see if I can find one here quickly. Of course not. I should have been prepared. Well, anyway, they have our new um, 3D. 3D folders? Well, apparently, yeah, embossing folders. Wow, goodness, I have the old style. I know I have one in here. I just can't pull it out right at the moment. Anyway. And you need to use, um, if you use a big shot, you use this blue plate for it. So those are available. That product item number is 149658. They're $10. Really? They work amazing. And then good deal. I had another question about the stamp and storage. And yes, we still have the stamp and storage. And yes, it is amazing. Today, if you saw on. Um, my Facebook page, I had posted a uh, um, thing about Choose Happy, and I have a picture of what my setup looks like. So we we have those. They are available and on sale. Last housekeeping thing is our new holiday catalog. Let me see if I have a copy right close. Oh, we do. It's right over here, Bill. Oh, wow. Ooh, look at that thing. Woo-wee. <laughs> 
Our new holiday catalog will be released in September. I cannot open it right now to show you what's in the catalog. I can show you products from it, and I'm gonna let you in on a little bit of a sneak peek. I'll be doing some next uh, Facebook Live with the new Halloween stuff. Ooh. Woo, it's Sweeties. getting close. But if you are um, already a customer of mine, I have sent those out uh, through Stampin' Up. Let me know when you get them. I'll be checking in with you to make sure that you got them. And if you do not, if you're not a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you do not have um, a demonstrator and would like me to be your demonstrator, let me know because I would love to send you uh, the storefront here so that you could see what's going on. Okay, all I need you to do is send me um, a message on Facebook. That'd be fine. Just let me know that you are interested. I have email. Everything's listed. Um, on my blog po on my blog site if you need to go there that's piccadillystampin.blogspot.com okay if you participated last month with any orders this month you can redeem your coupons and get free stuff I don't want people to forget last year I had two people who just forgot about it and it's free cash so if you ordered last month anything over fifty dollars you at least have a five dollar gift certificate in your email check your email because it's time to redeem those bonuses Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. only 15 more days right so bill you haven't seen this yet no i have not bon appetit paper pumpkin i think this is really cute they have the little it says a handmade halloween subscribe by september 10th so um it's paperpumpkin.com if you want to subscribe it is a little box that comes every month this one has skull and crossbones on it and it's done in um wow. i think like the gorgeous grape color so in black so it looks kind of fun but I don't know what it is, if it's cards, if it is a project, I'm not sure yet, but um, there is something for Halloween, obviously, and you need to subscribe by t uh, September 10th. If you would please choose me as your demonstrator, I would appreciate it. Okay, Piccadilly Perks. This has been going along marvelously. Have you seen if Marsha's come in? I have not seen Marsha. Marsha has redeemed her second rewards from me. Wow. I know. Yeah. So she's gone through. Going for round three. There we go. So thank you, Marsha. So let me tell you what Piccadilly Perks is. This is a rewards program just for being my loyal customer. You can earn free products from me. So this has nothing to do with Stampin' Up, even though I, I a representative and sell Stampin' Up products. I'm my own independent demonstrator. So how it works is for every $35 purchase you make, you get to form the word Piccadilly. There's 10 letters in Piccadilly. So it's kind of buy 10, get one free. So you can choose anything you want up to $25 from my store. That is any current catalog. So this catalog and actually next month, this catalog will be going live. So um, you get an opportunity of any current catalog track except for um, anything that is a host reward or a celebration reward because that is a, a reward that's earned through Stampin' Up! specifically. So, But I'll pay the tax and the shipping on that. So that's like buy 10, get one free. Now this is something that I'm doing right now as kind of a trial offer. It is actually kind of going pretty good. So I'm probably going to stick with it. But as this point, I'm going to I'm going to review um, January 31st, 2020, just to see how things are going and if I'm going to continue with it. But if you want to get in, there's still time to get in on it. All right. Also this month, extra, extra, read all about it. I do want you guys to know that the Piccadilly Pearls are growing. And right now, Stampin' Up! has an extremely awesome deal. Really? Yeah. Normally it is you get $125 worth of product for $99. But wow. till the end of this month, which is just a couple of weeks away, right? Two weeks. Two weeks, okay. Um, they're going to offer an extra $30 on the kit. You get to pick what you want in this kit. And then the following month, they're gonna give you a $10 off coupon for your first order, which 
I know, isn't that awesome? So it's like an extra $40 um, worth of product for free for $99. And, and on that $99, they're paying the shipping on that. So all you're paying is $99 plus tax, whatever your tax is. So that is a really awesome deal. And that the thing good. that's really cool about this is not only are you getting a discount through Stampin' Up! on every order that you make, but then you get to join my team, and we have fun, creative, amazing women on the team. I have a group with group challenges, and we're actually just getting our first event together where we're going to kind of get together and stamp. So if this wow. is something that you're interested in, please let me know. Stampin' Up! Um, does support all kinds of demonstrators. So if you just want to get the discount and um, meet the quarterly minimum, that's fine with them. You don't have to sell. You don't have to recruit anyone. It's just, um, just however, sell. yeah, it's just how, how, it's just however you want to make this work. So I'm going to stop just a second. I'm going to run over here and take a look. Uh, hi, Gwen. Hi, Josh. Hi, Sherry. I'm just um, looking at new people coming in. Karen says she's loving the mild weather. Oh, did I lose the... No, you're still over here, so I don't know. Okay, I don't know. The computer kind of died, huh? Mm -hmm. Are there any questions, Bill? Not, yet. Not that I've seen. Some people couldn't wait and spend all their bonus money right off the bat. Woohoo! Those are my kind of people because I did too. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as as soon as that bad boy was opened up, you know, another a perk about being a demonstrator is we get so let me pull this back out just so you can see it. You guys right now can see this uh, um, the general public can see just this catalog. We get to see this a month early, so we get to purchase the new stuff early. So I happen to have my hands on some of this goody goody. I can't show you inside the catalog until it goes live. It's just the rules, but I can use products from it. And so next week we're gonna make, can, do you see these, Bill? Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm we're gonna, gonna be making those. Anything. Those are cool. Yeah, don't say anything, don't ruin it, because tonight's just as cool. That's right. So tonight I had an idea, and we're gonna be doing a fun fold. I love fun folds. Fun folds look Cool. Yeah, they do. And and people are always so amazed when you give them a fun fold. I'm doing an extremely simple fun fold. This is good for anybody who is just starting out and really getting into the stamping um, business. But we're also going to be making a matching bookmark. Ooh. So if you wanted to give kind of a gift. And someone will be winning this tonight. Ooh, so wow. because it's kind of a crafty thing, I wanted to... Um, Turn to page 159 in the annual catalog and show you this um, Crafting Forever set. Now, we've had this for a while in, in a couple of catalogs, I think. However, I just got it. I don't own any, everything. I know I show a lot of things weekly and on my stuff, but it's hard to own everything. Even though I would love to, I don't own everything. So, I just got this. The whole house would be the storage room. Yeah, it would. <laughs> So, um, I, I'm willing to make the whole house a craft area if you, no. <laughs> okay, okay, anyway, so, um, I love it because it says do something creative every day, and we are cut out to be friends with the little scissors, isn't that cute, crafting forever, housework whenever. And the funny thing is, is I'm just gonna, before we get started, I'm just gonna tell a little story, so I don't know who saw today my post, um, regarding choose happy so my upline had a challenge for us mm. and to spread a little happy cheer and i like was all over that because actually i have been grumbling when you have a sewer backup in your house and your house is in complete disarray and it still is it's hard to be happy about having to change things when you're so used to what you had. Right. Bill has given up his man cave. I've given up my craft area to a smaller area. That basement was partially finished. Um, the insurance isn't going to pay for everything. So I think choosing happy was really something I had been thinking about anyway. And when we were looking in this space, and I just have to say kudos to you, Bill. I really do. Bill was on it. 
by the next day, he's like, we got to get our business up and going. We got to get our business up and going. What are we going to do? Where are we going to set up? How are we going to get this going? And within that same week of the flood, we had our house ripped up and he was working on getting me an area so that I could be presenting with you guys. So, yeah, we did that. Uh, love you bunch, Bill, for that. Weekend. Yeah, that very first weekend. So one of the things that I did, and if you haven't seen them yet, you can go back on Facebook when we're done here and take a look at kind of the positive things that I've got set up in here. And I actually was doing a little paper crafting to add a little zing of color throughout. That's right. Yeah, so anyway. Okay, so that's the set that we're going to use. Let's get started on the first one. Now, Ooh, the first one. Don't let this project box look intimidating. Isn't this thing cute? I love that you can do just a note with these pens and make right, a note card. Stuff in that box. Yeah, there is. I know it looks intimidating, you guys, but it, it's not going to be. Trust me. We're just going to pull this all That's out. All the markers on. Yeah. <laughs> Were you wondering? Well, I was looking at the stamp and storage going. Did we lose that many? No, no, no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to do a project with them. So, okay. I am using a thick whisper white because we are going to be using the blends tonight. We're going to be using a lot, but we're not going to be using them for like a long period of time. This goes a lot quicker than it seems. And I'm going to use this um, image here of the brushes in the cup. Pot? Cup? Yeah, pot. It's like a pot. It does look a pot. Pottery pot. So I'm going to take some memento ink, and you need the memento to, because these are alcohol-based markers. And um, I'm just going to put this down here. And um, give that a good press. There we go. Isn't it cute? Uh, just so you guys know, this is uh, two and a half by six inches because I know someone will ask me and then I've got a layering one were you able to get that on there yeah I'm getting it pulled back up okay that would be great sometimes you might have to go completely out yeah it's coming so this has got a 1 8 inch border on it because this will go behind it and this is in Pacific Point Pacific Point so I want to start off with um, the dark and light Calypso coral and I don't want you guys to get into thinking you have to be like this wonderful blender or anything. Um, you don't. These things work so awesome. You don't have to be an artist, but you just have to have the desire to try. So I'm going to take the dark, and I'm going to kind of go over the lines. I'm doing kind of sketchy lines, like where Stampin' Up put them in the, in the, um, on the picture with the dark. Whoops. And then I'm going to come back with the light Calypso Coral. And this is, look at me, I already got it on me. It doesn't take much. This is, I'm going to use the brush end. And you want to stay away from the edges a bunch. Don't leave your alcohol marker on the edge because it will um, absorb. So you just want to work kind of quickly. And I'm going to do some circles here. This isn't super perfect at all. Bill's trying to get my computer fact, up, if you hear him. Thank you, Bill. You're welcome. See? And it still shows those uh, lines, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, I'm going to take the... This is not the one I want, I don't think. Is it? Maybe it is. Yes, it is. The light crumb cake... And let's just color the bristles on all of these paint brushes. Those markers seem to go on pretty quick. Yes, that's what I like about it. It kind of spreads out. So you wanna you wanna do quick light. Do not put pressure, especially on these brush ends, or you're gonna bend them and smoosh them and they're not gonna work for you the way you want. But I just wanna do quick little strokes in this light crumb cake on all of the bristles. Are there any questions or anything? No, not yet. They're loving the blends. Okay, yes, I love the blends too. And then I'm going to do the same thing. This is the light soft suede. 
So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna do the wooden handles of Paint, the paint brushes. Sorry, did I I do well, that a well, lot? That's fine. This is actually very relaxing to me. So you hear her snoring. That's what she's doing. <laughs> yeah, I fell asleep. Hey, Joy. I, hi, Joy. Remind me, Joy. I've been thinking about you, and I need to tell you something. I'm gonna have to call you. I think it's about a sign I put up in my room that reminds me of you. Okay, so then I'm going to go with the light and the dark on the smoky slate, and I'll just start with the dark. Where's the dark? This is the dark. And I'm going to use the brush end just because for me I can get into finer places. So I'm going to go where the metal is, kind of on the edges of these brushes. Just real quick. and one there and then I'll go back in with the light and I'm going to fill in the rest of the metal piece so some of them have more like this oh I missed one we'll come back to that see this doesn't take as long as you think with these, I do have to come back because I found one that I want a little darker right here where that metal was crimped. Okay, and then I wanna go with, what is this? This is the light daffodil, and I am going to, there's a pencil in here, so I'm gonna make kind of a number two number pencil. Number two pencil? <laughs> you remember those from school, right? And you know what else I think I just realized? This is a little knife, so I'm gonna come back in on this. Is this the light, smoky slate? Then I'm gonna make the blade, the metal there. I'll do the dark and the dark smoky slate. And let's do that handle a different color. Let's do Knight of Navy. Okay, I schmooched a little outside of the line, so I'm gonna take the color lifter. Schmooch. Yeah, it's a word. So is that like a, an eraser there? Kind of. I need to do it when I can get my eyes more over it. Okay, now all of these colors, all of these are just gonna be for play. So what I mean by that is, here is Granny Apple Green, the dark Granny Apple Green. So let's add a little paint on our brush oh, cool. and this is dark poppy parade so let's add a little paint on this brush and what do we got here light rich razzleberry that's a good color gonna add a little paint on that brush how about dark pumpkin pie mm-hmm it is a cool color. It works and for this upcoming season. It does work for this upcoming season. This one is Dark uh, Melon Mambo, which I just made a cute card with Melon Mambo. I love Melon Mambo. In fact, I like it so much. Maybe I should do another one. Another one. Hi, Lori. Hi, monkey. Okay, so what do we got here? Let's do... This is Call Me Clover. And, ooh, Bermuda Bay. How did I miss that? That should have been my first one, right? Yeah. Because I love it. And this is the new Dark Rococo Rose. And then what do we get here? Light Lovely Lipstick. You get the idea. So you bring a lot of color into it this way. And do I have any more? I don't have any more, so... We'll set that aside. It's because you did two on one. Probably. That's probably it, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's different sayings in this, and I love them. And since we're going to make kind of a matching set, I'm going to use on this the Crafting Forever Housework Whenever 
We're going to ink that up in the, in the Memento Tuxedo Black. I love that it's called Tuxedo Black. Just sounds classy, doesn't it? It does. So I'm gonna. So is this the bookmark you're making? Yeah, this is a bookmark that I'm making so that okay. you can give it away as a. As a gift. As a gift with your card, with your matching card. Okay. So now, oh, I don't have this. The name of this Joy's on. Joy will save me. I don't know, I don't remember the name of this punch, Joy, so, but it has a corner rounder on it. And I love that you can just stick it in and match it up. And let me just show you. It, it gives you three different um, corners, but if you match it up, let me show you on here. There's an edge that you can put them by. So you can get a decorative. We're gonna be using these two tonight. We're just gonna do a corner rounder. So I'm gonna round all the corners. It's a triple punch. A triple punch? Did Joy tell you? No. Oh, you know? Jean did. Oh. Yeah, but I think it's got a- Thomas called it a trio. Yeah, I think a trio it's- Trio punch, pretty I, sure. I think it's got some, like, special name. Okay, so. Isn't this thing stinking cute already? I don't. I know. That's kind of oh. odd for me, isn't it? Wow. I love it, though. We're going to be using it here again, so I'm not going to put that up. Now, I want to take, and I'm just going to put this and center this on the Pacific Point. I think the Pacific Point paper is an underused paper, and I really like it. Try corner punch is what Joy thinks it is. See, Joy always knows Joy knows everything. <laughs> so we're going to just kind of center this on here. And I'm using the green glue because it will... Give you time to move it around. That's C. I know. Preaching to the choir now. You know. That's right. Awesome. Now it has this little um, oblong circle punch and it's perfect for exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to try to center this as best I can. And this one, the instead of having it at the corners, this one has it so that you can go straight in. Did that make sense? I hope it did. Okay. So I'm going to put this in and push it back and pop down. Oh, right there at the top. Isn't that great? Right where it needs to be. That's right where it needs to be. I'm going to use the petal pink, and I think this is called striped, organdy striped ribbon. Uh, this stuff is so... Calls it, a, it says it is the detailed trio. Punch. Detailed trio, there we go. I should know she would know too. That girl's fast. So if I need anything, I call her, like seriously. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to take, um, I cut off a chunk of this, and I'm just going to stick this through the end. And I, it's easy to get through if you just cut your end at an angle. I like these fairly long. I don't know about you guys when they're sticking out of a book, but I like them fairly long. Um, you can choose not to have it as long, but... Okay, and I'm going to cut off a piece of um, baker's twine. This is just the Whisper White baker's twine. And I'm going to wrap this around here. And if you've got any crafty friends or anybody who you think might be a crafty friend, this is a great thing to give. You can write on the back of the card if you want. Okay, way overshot how much I needed on that. So we're going to trim this off. A little bit of trimming going on. There we go. A little bit of trimming. But isn't this thing stinking cute? It is. I mean, do you like that? It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Are you just teasing me? No. You really like awesome. it? Okay, you've seen the card that matches this. What do you think of the card? I like the card. All right, so. I thought, I thought that's what you were starting with. I was like, oh, that's a 
Nope, nope. starting with the bookmark. I always start with the easiest thing first, oh, but actually right. the card isn't gonna take that long. So let me show you how to do that too. Now you can, again, like I said, you can trim these down a little bit, but I think it's adorable. And I don't know why, you know what I just realized? I want to do, I'm gonna use a little bit of maybe the crumb cake, that light crumb cake. And I'm gonna go back. Let's do just a little bit of shading down here, just to kind of ground our image, maybe. What do you think? Yeah, it looks cool. There we go. That way it's not just floating in the air. Okay, so let's make the matching card to this. Let me get the next project box. It won't look as intimidating. Yeah, all I'm, the markers are over here. I'm gonna be using the same stamp set, but I'm gonna add just for this um, little background, the birthday backgrounds. We're gonna be using, and I have this pre-done so it won't take forever, but um, the um, ovals, the layering oval dies, and I'm gonna be using kind of a medium one with a scalloped matching. And then for the inside of this card, put this here. Um, I'm going to be using the saying, do something creative every day. I'm a firm believer in that. I think even, Bill, what brings you happiness? You do. Oh, look at I have him and so trained. And you're woodworking, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody has to have a hobby. It doesn't have to be paper crafting, just, it's good for the soul, I think. That's I'm a right. firm believer. So I'm gonna start off with a piece of, cause I want this to coordinate and match with the bookmark. So this is a half sheet of um, Pacific Point again. And I'm gonna be using, what is the name of this? Follow Your Art Designer Series Paper. This stuff is cute if you haven't seen it. It's got, um, like I love that it has, it even has little glue guns in here somewhere. Let me see if I can. Glue guns? Yes. It's so cute. Little, look at little blends like we just used. Um, but it has, where are these little glue guns? These things, well, it's got some patterns. Here we go. Look at this little glue guns and buttons and stuff. This is perfect for anybody who's a paper crafter, um, even scrapbookers. So let me grab the score tool. This is our Simply Score tool. I know Kristen or Gwen will know, or um, Joy will know. And what I wanna do is I wanna score this at four and a quarter, so just like you would do to have the um, the card base. Oops, let's try to actually stay within our score line here. And then I want to score it at one and a half. Okay, I told you this is going to be simple enough for anybody. So we're just going to fold that over like our regular card base. And then we're going to fold this one and a half inch score line back. Now I've used that designer series paper. Let's see here. And I've cut um, this one where it had like the paint brushes in it. It's two sided, which I love. And I like that it's a nice weight. It's good to work with, but I cut the two larger ones here. You're going to need two of them at two and a half by five and a quarter. And then I cut a thin piece and this one is cut at one and a quarter by five and a quarter. So we're going to start with, with this and I want to flip this we're gonna glue this down on, on this uh, top piece here. Anybody seeing anything? No, they love it. And your friend Beth Ann's on vacation, Bill. I'm sorry. What? Again? I know. Oh, oh. 
Is that the right way? Yep, this is the right way. Okay. I'm going to do the reverse side on this little flap. Oh. Yeah. Ah, you thought I was screwing up, huh? I did. I was like, whoa. whoa. Ah, trust the master. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to do the other side with so that the little paint brushes and I don't know what those things are called. They're like spatulas or something that you would Probably put. Put thing. it's what you put um our embossing paste on with. Mm. So I'm gonna put this on, on the front cover and I've just given it like a little one eighth inch border. Then on the inside cover, I'm going to do the same thing. So this is another good way to use up DSP, but I'm telling you, this is so pretty when it's done. So let's just get this on here. Also, I don't know who it was. I want to say maybe it was Beth Ann. Someone had left um, a tip on my wall that I was going to talk about. And if you don't know if you're... Um, if your glue is gonna squirt out, especially when you get to the end on the green glue, sometimes it'll squirt out. She starts in the middle and then goes out to the corners, and I thought that was a good tip. I've been trying to pay attention to it, but I think maybe it's kind of hard to break this old dog from a trick, but. Okay, so the card is gonna open like this. Very, very simple and unique. Now, this is for the inside of the card, so let me just get a piece of scratch paper. And I want to use my Pacific Point ink pad, and I want to use the birthday backgrounds like I was talking about, and this hearts and stars and the little shapes. I, I picked that out. And I want to put just a dab there and a dab there in each corner. It doesn't have to be perfect, and I'm gonna leave that out because I'm going to be using it in a moment. So I'm going to take the inside now and glue that to the inside. I just wanted to stamp off of the page a little bit first. Ooh. Yeah, we're building it up. That's right. Layers, layers, layers. Okay. So get this centered on here. Isn't this cute? So here's how the card will look, right? Now let's get our focal point on here. I was not going to make you sit through me um, uh, coloring in these since you saw me do it already on the um, matching pad. So I just cut it out on our matching bookmark. So I just went ahead and oval cut this out. I pre-did it so that it matches. And then I have a Pacific Point blue and it's got the scalloped edge that layers with it. You keep me informed. It seems like it's quiet. Oh, they're all watching intensely. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Sherry. Are you watching intensely too, Bill? I am. So we're going to put this right here and then give that green glue a minute to move around and center that in there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, let's pull out a few dimensionals because... You have enough. That's right. That's what I say. <laughs> I know Jean would argue with it. Well... She's not here, that's right. And so I'm gonna put them three, and I'm putting them in the middle because I'm going to center this on my card like so, so that it kind of hangs over here and hangs over there when it opens up. And then it kind of pulls and ties in this paper both ways, but wait. The reason I waited till the very end, and I'm going to bring my little extra piece, is because I want to stamp this sentiment right here, and I wanted to see how far out it came ahead of time. So let me let me just ink. I'm just going to do it in the Pacific Point. 
Well, maybe I should try to stamp it straight. Okay. So I can see where it's at, and I know that I want it to be right there. Do you guys... It is easy. It really is easy. <laughs> and this, I think, is adorable. I mean, it let's... It's a very cute card. Thank you, Bill. And it... And I'll just, just pass along what everybody else is saying. Oh, what are they saying? That's cute. Isn't it cute? So you've got your crafting forever, housework whenever, and do something creative every day. Oh, I love it. I love it. I thought it was adorable, and I couldn't wait to share it with you guys. So... Um, if there's any questions, go ahead and message me. I'd be I'd be glad to get back uh, to you on that if there's something that I went through kind of fast. But I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so if you can't live without any of these wonderful, marvelous products, you can purchase them through my online store. Guess where we're at now, guys? Drum roll. I'm starting back, you know, and I want you guys to be thankful or... Um, I want you to know how thankful I am, how appreciative you have been that I haven't been doing the drawings. Things have been a little tight around here. So thank you for whoever reminded me to do them again. Um, I do have a new host code. So if your orders are 150 or less, then you, please use the host code. Otherwise you don't need to because then you'll be eligible for your own host rewards. So tonight I'm gonna give away um, this set, this card set, so that someone else can mail it out um, to someone and spread the love. Be sure to go ahead and to get into my drawings and and share. Share. I'm just spread the word. <laughs> spread the word. There we go. Okay. I didn't have as many people. My my pockets just a little bit full, so I'd appreciate a little more sharing. But let's get going. Should we do for the first drawing? Yep. First drawing. Okay. Put your hand in. Reach it in deep. There we go. And who do we got? Kelly Eckerson. Okay, Kelly. Ugh. You have won tonight's um, card set. Woo, Kelly. <laughs> Are you going to say Yeah, it? wow. Yeah. Okay, I was like wondering where is it? <laughs> Congratulations, Kelly. And I think it's Kelly Erickson, so I think you read that wrong. Um, I think I have your address, Kelly, but get to me just to make sure. Okay, you ready for the, the grand prize drawing? Grand prize. Okay. Ooh, rolling. Okay. Digging deep in the pocket. And who's that? Who Marsha is? Bartles. Marsha. Woo woo. Marsha, you have won a embossing folder. This is our, let's see, what is the name of this one? Country Floral. Now this is a dynamic textured one, so you won't have to use the blue plate with that. You can just use one of your regular plates in your big shots, but I will get that mailed out to you. So you guys, thank you so much for joining me each week. I do appreciate it and spreading the word and the love, and I will see you next week this time. We're going to be doing some creepy crawly Halloween things. Mm -hmm. Woo! All right. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.